Okay, so to do the drum mapping, you have to do uh, some editing, uh, and uh, it's very. I'm doing it in 2012. It's similar in 2011. <clears throat> uh, the just the placement of the drum set is in a different place. For 2012, you have to go to the uh, score manager. Have you guys been to this? Okay, and then um, down here where your drum is under notation style percussion, you press this settings button and then this prompt comes up. So <clears throat> I'm going to do some editing on the drum set. So I don't want to edit the one that's in there. I want to create a new one so I can edit it and make it my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the drum set and it comes down here at the bottom and then I'm going to press edit. And then I'm going to just make this my, uh, my groove writing drum set. So anytime I open up a, my portfolio assignment, I'm going to look for this drum set. Okay? So the first thing I want to do is get rid of all of this, the drums I don't use. So I'm not going to use a splash symbol. Um, and all I'm doing is, is that I'm highlighting a drum and then I'm pressing the minus sign. And that's just deleting it. Okay? So I'm not going to need two crash symbols. I do need hi-hat opened and closed with foot. I don't need the splash. I don't need a china symbol. I need one ride symbol. Don't need the bell. Uh, snare drum, cross stick. I don't need rim shot. I don't need ghost. Um, I pick three toms, any random toms, as long as there's three separate ones. I delete the ride, the triangle, the cowbell. These extra percussion things you'll need later, but uh, you don't need them now. So basically what I've done is I've made, the, made it into a Berkeley, standard Berkeley drum set. Bass drum, snare drum, three toms, two cymbals, hi-hat, and, you know, the variations of the snare, the variations of the hi-hat, okay? Now, the other thing that's, now, in order for the note on the page to give me the sound that I want, I have to make sure that they're in Berkeley drum notation, um, you know, appropriate to dr Berkeley drum notation. So... The first thing you see is that the crash symbol is here as the A above the staff. I'm totally cool with that. Um, just leave it there. It, it, you know, drummers won't mind and it will work. Now, remember, your hi-hat is supposed to be hi-hat closed and it's supposed to be on the E. And then hi-hat open is also on the E. Oops. And all I'm doing is clicking and dragging on the, this box. I'm just clicking and then dragging it and put it in, in into the proper space. Hi-hat with foot. See how it's here on the G? Okay. Ride symbol should be on the G space. Snare drum is in the right place. Cross stick is in the right place, but it's the wrong type of notation. What should it be? It should be an X. So if I go here to the note head thing and I press on select, oops, select, and I scan down, um, I'll find the X right here down here, number 120, and I press select. So now when I do my cross stick, it will show up as an X. Uh, high tom should be on the F line. Mid tom should be on the... D line and then the low tom should be on the B line. And then my bass drum is cool. And then I'm all set. So when I write these notes on the staff, not only will they look right, but the finale will actually play them correctly. And I press select. And then if I just go to quarter notes here, you can see all I'm doing right now is using the up and down arrow and it's scanning through hi hat bass drum, uh, low tom, snare, cross stick, medium tom, hi-hat open, hi-hat closed, high tom, and ride simple and crash. So if I actually... and I'm all good to go.